Welcome back to school. Let me start this morning's assembly by asking how you feel about this. someone who loves roller coasters or who hates roller coasters. I'd say I'm somewhere in between. I will go on a roller coaster, but only if someone else makes me go. I've been thinking that this past year has felt a lot like a roller coaster. There have been loads of ups and downs and twists and turns, and now you're back at school again after another two months of lockdown. It's yet another change of direction. And I wonder how you're feeling about being back at school. I imagine that as you look around the room today, there will be a whole range of different feelings. People will be feeling relief, anxiety, disappointment, anger, frustration, excitement. Some will be relieved to be away from parents. Others will be sad to be away from parents. Some will be pleased to be back with friends. Others will be worried about being back with friends. Even though lockdown is over, the roller coaster of emotions continues. What I can say is, I am sure that you are not alone in what you're feeling. There will certainly be somebody else who feels what you're feeling right now. At the moment in church, we're in the season of Lent. Lent runs from Ash Wednesday, which is the day after Shrove Tuesday when we have pancakes, through to the Easter weekend. And it's a 40 day period in which we reflect on the story of Jesus in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights alone. Now this year we've done something a bit different to mark the season of Lent. We've created what's called a labyrinth here in the garden at the Good Shepherd. Now it looks at first sight like a maze, but it's a bit different to a maze. Because when you have a maze, you have to find your way through it. There are lots of dead ends and you have to turn back again. But with a labyrinth, there's only one way in and one way out. It's impossible to get lost and there are no dead ends. The labyrinth is actually a symbol. It symbolises the journey of life and faith. Like a roller coaster, it's full of twists and turns and the route takes you in unexpected directions. And the idea is that as you walk around the labyrinth, you reflect on life. You think about who you are and where you are and how you are. In the middle of our labyrinth, there's a cross, another symbol, a reminder of the Easter story and the death and resurrection of Jesus. A lot of people assume that if life is hard or if bad things happen, it must mean that God isn't with you. On the other hand, they think that if life is going well, if you're happy and successful, it must mean that God is with you. Well, the point of the labyrinth is that through all the twists and turns of life, whatever journey you've been on, when you get to the centre, God is always there. It's that reminder that whatever happens in life, all those ups and downs and twists and turns, God is always at the centre. We can find him or maybe he finds us. One of the things that I've enjoyed about creating this labyrinth is that every day there have been lots of children who've come here to play. It's been fantastic seeing children running around and racing each other and laughing and shouting. And it made me think, Life is full of ups and downs and twists and turns, and maybe we should try and enjoy them. Over the past year, there has been a great deal of uncertainty. Things have changed constantly, but there have been some unexpectedly good things as well. Maybe we need to try and enjoy the twists and turns that life throws at us. Coming back to school after two months of lockdown is yet another change but I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy being out of the house. Enjoy getting dressed every day. Enjoy being away from your family. Enjoy seeing your friends. Enjoy having teaching in person. Enjoy using your brain again. Enjoy all the subjects that you couldn't do at home. Enjoy going to the shop after school. If you'd like to have a go at walking the labyrinth, you're very welcome to do so. It's at the Good Shepherd Church in Hampton Road, 10 minutes walk from school. You're welcome to pop over and to spend some time thinking about who you are and how you are and where you are in life.
but I want to finish now by saying make the most of being back at school. Yes, it is annoying that things are changing again, but make the most of it. Enjoy it.